right, all right. How is everybody doing tonight? Right here, Friday in the driveway. That's right, time once again. Friday in the driveway and it is on Friday. And right here we are. We're in my driveway right here. There might be some cars come by. Of course, we know that probably gonna be a train here in a minute or two, but uh, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining me here tonight. Boy, it feels good out here tonight. It's not hot, I'm not sweating, uh, no bugs, so I'm loving it. Yeah, that's right, loving it. Uh, so we're gonna have a good time tonight. Tonight I wanna, oh, by the way, I don't have my sweet tea. Dad, blame. Don't have sweet tea because, I, you know, I have to do better with the sweet tea because I forget. And can I just, I'm just gonna do a Friday in the driveway confession. And that confession right now is, is that I usually don't drink sweet tea. All right, there's a couple of times when I do drink sweet tea, if I go have dinner with my mom, all right, because mom fixes some real good sweet tea, I'll, uh, I'll drink it then, or uh, on a holiday, you know, when the, we don't have uh, Diet Mountain Dew available, I'll drink sweet tea, but most of the time, you're gonna catch me drinking a Diet Mountain Dew. But I kinda wanted to do an icon for this program, uh, being that I drink sweet tea, so I'm gonna do better, but tonight, I just have the good old Diet Mountain Dew. We do not bow down to any sponsors, by the way. All right, but uh, gonna take a little drink. If you got a, a little ice beverage there, go ahead and take a little drink. Oh yeah, and you know, as I always do, I get a little piece of ice in there every now and then, and uh, that piece of ice, uh, I gotta spit it out sometimes, but, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Tonight, you know, I wanna to talk to us a little bit about uh, integrity. You know, I, I wasn't able to save the first three episodes of Friday in the driveway. Uh, I just did it live on Facebook and I, I couldn't, you know, I thought you could download it from Facebook and I could edit it and so forth, but I couldn't do that. So I had to work out a dual camera situation so that I could, I actually post my uh, Friday in the driveway episodes on YouTube as well. Um, but I, uh, you know, I, where, where was I going with that? Hmm, I don't remember. Kind of had a little brain situation there. Uh, I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh, I don't know where, uh, but I don't know if in the first three episodes, if I, I did this topic before, I kind of feel like I did this topic in maybe the first three episodes, but I couldn't remember and I couldn't go back and see because I couldn't save the videos. That's where I was going. I'm back now, all, all here now. Uh, so tonight, what I'm gonna talk to you about is I'm gonna talk to you about integrity, all right? I wanna talk about integrity and, and what integrity is and just encourage you out there to be an individual who, you know, who practices integrity in their life. Uh, you know, uh, integrity, it's a word that gets thrown around all the time. Uh, it gets thrown around a lot. Uh, but what does it actually mean? What does integrity actually mean? Well, you know me, I looked it up on the dictionary and uh, looked it up in the dictionary and found that the definition of integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Uh, moral uprightness, all right? So that's the uh, definition of integrity. And then I, I looked at some quotes, uh, some different quotes on, uh, you know, on the internet. Albert Einstein, now I don't know if, how you feel about Albert, Albert Einstein, pretty smart fella, all right? Pretty smart fella. He had, uh, you know, I don't know if he believed in God or not. I saw a lot of articles that stated that uh, Albert Einstein was an atheist. I saw other articles that listed they wrote letters where he believed in God, so he wasn't an atheist. So I'm just going to have to say, I don't know. <laughs> but I want to tell you something that Albert Einstein... Oh, train. Do you all hear the train? <laughs> Always right on schedule. So I'll just take a drink. Mmm, mmm. That's good, Diet Mountain Dew. Train moves. It goes from uh, this way. It's, it's moving that way. So it's going on down. Uh, but back to the quote here, Albert Einstein, he said, whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. All right, let me read that again. It says, whoever is careless, and this is what Albert Einstein said, by the way, 
Whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. And you know, as I read that, I thought, man, that sounds a lot like Luke chapter 16 and verse 10. Do y'all know what Luke chapter 16 verse 10 says? It says, one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And then it says, and one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. That's what Luke chapter 16 verse 10 says. And I thought, that kind of sounded like what Albert Einstein said when he said whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. Hmm. It made me go, hmm. But you know what uh, Abraham Lincoln said? I am bound to win, but I am bound to be true. Rewind. He didn't say I am bound. He said I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live up to what light I have. All right? And basically what Abraham Lincoln was said, it says that being true to what he believes in, and he, he referred to it as the light I have. You know, believing in the truth is more important than winning or succeeding. Uh, being honest was more important to Abraham Lincoln. Being a person of integrity was more important to uh, Abraham Lincoln than succeeding or winning elections. Uh, and then, uh, you know, but my most favorite quote when it comes to integrity comes from the late Billy Graham. And he said, integrity means that if our private life were suddenly exposed, we'd have no reason to be ashamed or embarrassed. Integrity means that our outward life is consistent with our inner convictions. That's what Billy Graham said. And I love that. I love that. That integrity, you know, if your life were just suddenly exposed for everyone to see, would you be ashamed? Would you be embarrassed? You know, there's some of my life that if you saw some of my life, I'd just be downright embarrassed about it. I really would. Okay. So that's my neighbor over there. Somebody's uh, messing us up and blowing a horn, scared the living daylights out of me, and they're going to pass by here and probably make some noise because they see all the lights and everything. Uh, but um, guys, tonight we're talking about integrity, and I want us to go to Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 3. And what Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 3 says is that integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. All right, did you catch that? Proverbs 11, 3. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. And what that means is, is that integrity is the opposite of duplicity. All right? Meaning, I don't live my life differently in private, and then I live my life another way in public. All right? And that's what uh, Billy Graham was talking about. If your life was just exposed, would you be embarrassed? Would the, if the private life came to the public, would it be something that embarrassed you? So the first thing is, is integrity is the opposite of duplicity. All right? We, don't, we live the same in private that we do in public. And then in Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 22... It says that lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are His delight. Lying lips, it says, are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are His delight. You see, guys, integrity, to, integrity is the very foundation. It's the role of honesty. You know, we are pleasing to God when we live a life of integrity. And that's what that verse means when it says deal faithfully. But those who deal faithfully is, you could say, but those who live their life with integrity are His delight, are pleasing to God. And then the last verse I want us to look at tonight is Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 18. Hebrews 13, 18 says, Pray for us, for we are sure that we have a clear conscience desiring to act honorably in all things. Integrity here, guys, means having a clear conscience. You know, do you have to 
think about what you said. You know, one, if you tell a lie, then you have to tell a lie to cover up that lie, and you have to tell another lie, and then you forgot what you lied about, and you're just, your conscience is not clear. You're worried about who's going to catch you, uh, who's going to find out. You see, that's not a clear conscience. When you live life with integrity, then you have a clear conscience. And you don't have to worry about somebody finding something out. And if your life was all of a sudden revealed, then it wouldn't be something that would be embarrassing. So my definition of integrity, guys, is simply integrity is doing what is right when no one is looking. And that's not original with me. I heard that somewhere. I might have read it somewhere. I don't know. But uh, I don't remember where. But that's my definition that I use when I talk to my kids, when I talk to people about what integrity means. Integrity is doing what is right when no one is looking. It's a way that you live your life. It's the way that you walk in this life. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 9 says, Whoever walks in integrity walks securely. Proverbs 27 says that the righteous who walks in his integrity, blessed are his children after him. And then Proverbs 28 6 says, better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. You see guys, Integrity is, is a lifestyle. Integrity is who we are. And if we are Christ followers, if we are Christians, then we need to live a life where we don't, we don't demonstrate duplicity. We don't live a certain way over here. And when we're at church, we live another way. And then when we're with our friends, we live another way. And then when we're at Kroger, we live another way. But we, we live a life of integrity, we, not duplicity but singularity, singularity committed to the cause of Christ. Integrity is the opposite of duplicity. Integrity is the primary role of being honest. And then lastly tonight, integrity means having a clear conscience. Whew. So that's what I wanted to share with you tonight, guys. Friday in the driveway, right here in my driveway. I had some technical difficulties. I had to to work on that and my neighbor blew his blew his uh, train horn you know and scared the living daylights out of me <laughs> but that's all right that's fine and we had a good time it feels good tonight and i hope that i've been an encouragement to you and encourage you to live life in such a way that we please god to live life with integrity and uh so that's my challenge to you and uh so go and live life and follow christ and live a life full of integrity. Well, guys, we've had a good time tonight. I, I'm going to take a little drink of my, mm, of my Diet Mountain Dew and uh, remind you to please share this video, okay? See, what happens when you share the video, multiplicate, multipli I can't even say the word, multiplication happens. All right, all of my friends can see the video, but then when you share it, all of your friends, and then you tell your friends to share it, and then before you know it, it's uh, gone what they call viral. All right, I learned that term, right? Gone viral. But, uh, but share this video, and uh, if also, if you'd like to watch past episodes of Friday in the Driveway, you can do that. Uh, you can go to YouTube and search for Friday in the Driveway, and you'll see uh, my videos there. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, uh, 15 minus 3, that's 12. All right, so I got 12 different episodes. Uh, well, I don't have this one yet, obviously, because we haven't finished it. But I will have 12 episodes on YouTube. You can go back and look and uh, watch th them. Or you can uh, go to my ministry website at michaelrdavisministries.yolasite.com and uh, you can watch, uh, I've got links to the videos so that you can watch past episodes of Friday in the Driveway. Uh, so guys, we've had a good time tonight. Thanks for being with me tonight and be sure and share the video. All right, share the video and uh, I'll see you on YouTube maybe, uh, but it's good to be with you tonight. You guys have a great Friday night. Uh, this is uh, the conclusion of Friday in the Driveway number 15. Good night, everybody.